Hello! This is a morning movement video that's all about some really gentle movement exercises designed to do first thing in the morning, especially good if you have any issues in lower body joints or in your spine. These will be some really nice ways to get some blood flow to those areas first thing in the morning. So this sequence is designed to be done from bed, so I have a little bed here set up to demo it on. And if you're not doing it from bed, a padded surface would work as well. So let's get started. We'll start laying on our backs just like you would first thing in the morning. And we'll pick one leg to start with and just bring it up above and we'll do some gentle ankle rolls. In one direction and then the other. And then let's point and flex a couple times. And then we want to add the toes in. So as you point, we're going to curl the toes forward and down and then draw them back. So we're trying to like scoop the air with your toes and then draw them back. So it's a big scoop and back. And different people's toes have different mobility. So just work with what you got. We're really trying to get as much motion in the toes as we can. Good. And then adding the knee in just a little bit to over-exaggerate the motion. Let's do one more. Okay, now I'd like you to extend the leg up tall. And we're going to warm up the knee by squeezing the quadricep and then releasing it and let the shin drop down. So a big squeeze of the quadricep and then release it and let the knee kind of drop. We'll do a few more, just like that. I start with 10 each morning. So it's a big squeeze and release and let gravity do the dropping. I think we've got about five more. Big squeeze. Two more. Last one. Okay, now let's draw the knee and shin in and then extend it long. So we're just pulling in gently and extending long. We'll do a couple more just like this, drawing the knee into the chest really gently. Okay, next time the knee is in at the chest, let's keep it here and we'll take some big circles with the knee. So you can use your hands to help with this, or let the knee and hip move together. You might notice some cracking or popping in your hip joint. As long as you don't encounter pain as the popping happens, it's okay. Let's switch directions. We're doing these big lower body circles to help bring some blood into the hip joint and get some increased heat and mobility there. Okay, last one for that. And then let's bring both feet up and place them on the mat and we'll do what's called windshield wipers with the knees, moving them both over to one side and up and then both over to the other side and up. And you can see my hips are coming off the ground, but my shoulders aren't. So this is a really gentle twist for the back and spine. We want to keep it really gentle, so if you can't get your knee all the way down to the ground, that's okay, just stop wherever you need to. We definitely don't want to get into any areas of pain in this type of exercise. Okay, let's move to the other leg. Starting by lifting up. I want to make sure you can see. Okay, so we're going to start with ankle rolls. Big rolls in one direction and then switch and go the other direction. We're really trying to make the biggest circle possible with that ankle joint. And then point and flex it a couple times. And now we add those toes in. So we're curling them back and then reaching forward with the toes and curling down and in. So big reach with those toes. Oh, took me a little while to get my toes to want to do this motion. <laughs> takes time to teach our body new things. So big scraping with the toes, curl them in, 
And let's do one more. Good. Okay, now let's do the knee extension. So we're pressing up and really squeezing these quadricep muscles and then releasing the heel and the muscle and gravity does the rest. The leg you're not working can be extended out long or you can have it bent up here if that's more comfortable for you. And we're gonna do 10 of these. Squeeze and release. Try to let gravity do the release. There's four, three, two, one. Okay, knee comes in, give it a little squeeze, and then we'll extend and draw in a few times right here. Good, this time we hold it in, hold it in and let's do those circles. They might be small circles if you're tight in the hips, or they might be big circles if you're really bendy. You might find that they start small and they are able to get a little bigger as you get warmer. And then you might notice that one side's a little different than the other. So these are just all things to be curious about. I go ahead and switch directions if you haven't already. Good, working some mobility into that hip. And then let's draw both knees up, plant the feet, and we'll do those windshield wipers again, just a few times right here, really gentle. I've got one last move for us today. After we finish with these windshield wipers, this is one of my favorite moves for getting mobility into the spine and warming up the core and the upper body. So let's come back to center and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We need to lift up a little bit. You can let your legs go long. We need to lift the torso up and we're gonna lean it back a little bit. You need some space laterally from side to side for this. I call it a rolling push-up. So we roll gently over onto one hip and take the hand around and then we just Lean down like you're trying to kiss the floor. Push back up. Roll over to the other hip. Hands down and a little push up. So it's just this nice and gentle rolling from one hip to the other hip. With a gentle push up on either side. So a little bit of upper body coming in. We're actually massaging the muscles in the glutes and the hips here as we rotate and getting a little bit of rotation and twist going in the spine. All right, one more to each side. Here's the last one. And very nice, come on up. That's the end of morning movement for this morning and for this video. I hope you feel 